Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing another Loxley product and this is one of the latest starts from the range. This is from the Bates range and these are the Psycho. Now this is a little play on the Bates Motel, Norman Bates, Owen Bates, Psycho. A cracking looking box, really nice box, nice pictures on it, nice clear window. Let's do the usual, let's get them over to the table, have a good look at them, get them on the board. Meet back here, do a little recap and give them their ratings. So here we have the front of the Psycho Bates Darts. They're 23 grams. Telling you they're Loxley, putting players first. A nice clear window showing you the barrel, the stem and the flight. The box is absolutely brilliant. It shows you a picture of Owen Bates throwing his darts in front of the haunted hotel, giving it that Bates cycle feel. On the back of the box, you get a little bit of information about Loxley darts. You could pause that here and have a little read. Also telling you the Owen Bates, the master, fifth year 2002, he's British, match darts are 22 grams, he's right-handed, and the walk-on is red-hot chilli peppers can't stop. Inside, they come in this little foam insert, holding the three darts in place with the stems already attached, with a little recess at the back holding the flights. They stay securely, they won't come out, won't move at all. They come in 23 grams. The length is 50 millimetres and the maximum width is 7.25. The point length is 35 millimetres long, 29 millimetres protruding. The barrels are 90% tungsten and Loxley give this a grip rating of 4 out of 10. So here we have the Loxley Psycho Darts. Now, this is a play on Owen Bates again with the name Bates, Bates Motel, Psycho. They're doing quite a lot of stuff with Owen Bates at the moment and I hope it pays uh, dividends because he's a very, very good dart player and a very nice person. So let's take two of these away. Have a look at one. Now, first thing I'm going to say is you've got the red and the black. Now, to me, if the name Psycho, the red is going to signify blood. The black for the sinister, as in horror. It's just, it does look a very sinister dart. Let's start at the back with the flight. Now, the flight is just looks like signature flights. Now, the, the feather design. As you can see, you get that feather detail in the flight. The gold writing of Loxley. Now this is going to be a number two. 35.8, so it's a number two. The stem is an intermediate. I can see it. It'll be just about 40 millimetres. 41.3. So when you put these two together, black and red is a colour that will always go together. Always. It just sticks out. So here, have a look at this dart. Now it looks very much like a bullet. It's got a little bullet missile type shape. Now the point, it says on the website, the point is a 35mm point, 29mm protruding. The same as the other ones. 28.8, so that's bang on. The di dimensions are 48, no these are 50. 50 millimetres by 7.25, so I thought they looked shorter than 50. Just shows you how bad the eyes can deceive you. 50.01 and it's 7.25 diameter. 7.35. That's just with the coating. So let's take a closer look at it. Now you've got the point, then when the point comes up you get that little bit of land. But what I would do with these is, for that bit of land, I would get a set of the tridents. The little cones that go over the point, and that would blend that in. Make it very smooth, protecting the flights. You've then got these little lateral notches cut out at the front. Now I don't think that's going to give you any grip at the front. No, that's not going to give, that's not going to give you anything. It's going to maybe help you spin it, but not going to give you any push. Then you've got four red very vibrant red looks like scarlet blood straight cut grooves that's going to give you the grip that's going to give you about a two two and a half 
Then at the rear, you've got the taper coming down. You've got thin grooves. They're not very deep and they're very well spaced out. So they're not getting a lot of grip there either. You're going to, that's probably going to be about one, one and a half at the most. And that takes you right back up to the stem. Where that is drilled out to 13.2. So that's quite deep that one. So that's going to make it more weighted to the front as well. But I think you just have to admit it's an absolutely awesome looking dart. I don't know how I'll be able to throw with this because there's not much grip at the front and I grip right at the front. So I maybe have to grip back a bit further just to get some grip on the red rings. So let's get them on the scales, get them weighed so we can get them a throw. Barrel number one, 23.09. Barrel number two, 23.09. And barrel number three, 23.07. So 0 0.02 of a difference, which is bang on. Full setup, 24.92. So here you have the point on the psycho darts. Long tapered point coming up to those little teardrop notches on the front of the dart. Then you've got those four vibrant red ring grooves. Then it starts to taper down with the very wide spaced radius ring grooves, radial ring grooves coming up to the stem on the locks of the dart. You've got a little ring on the back, the spring to keep it tight. Then you've got the Loxley feather flight. So I've got the Loxley Psycho darts in my hand. As you can see, I'm going to try and have a go with the supplied setup. I may have to change the setup, but we'll have a go and see. Oh, that's a very unusual feeling barrel. You've got that big long taper at the front, so I'm trying to hold it on the red rings. Oh, they're going to the board, okay, but I've just got no grip. There's no push. Hey, this is a hard one. This is going to be very low grip. I'm going to say it's going to be about a one and a half at the most. It's hard to get a good feel because where I hold right at the front is right on the taper. Try to hold it further back, which is affecting the balance. But they're a cracking looking dart. They look really good. I'll have one more throw, then we'll go into the 201 challenge. Sixty. Oh. oh no! 11. What a start! They're just very, very slippy. That's the best way to describe it. That's better than the first throw, that's for sure. You require 105. Oh, oh for, for me, start. 39. You 
require 66. Struggling to get decent pushes. Purchase. Oh. Game shot. We finished it. So let's recap on the cycle parts. As I said earlier, the common one size 23 grams, they're 90% tungsten. Their retail price is £59.95. The grip rating on these, the front is 0.5. Yes, 0 0.5. You don't get any. The little lateral cuts give you a tiny bit of grip for spinning, but that's it. So it's 0.5. Middle's 1.5, and the rear is a 1. Value for money, they're a 9 out of 10. Quite a bit of works on it in this dart. It's got a beautiful coating, beautiful paint. It's a 9 out of 10. Based on my RVB Echoes, would I put my RVB Echoes down for this? No, it's a 5 out of 10 for me. They're just too smooth. I didn't get enough push, didn't get enough control on the dart. Barrel's a bit short for me. But if you like the short barrel, if you like the smooth, Taper the front, diesel be right up your street, give them a go. They're mid range priced darts, they're very well made, packaging's outstanding. If you liked what you've seen in the video, head over to places like Dart Centre, Premier Darts, Dart Shops and Helens. Try your local stockist. If they've not got the Loxley darts in, ask them why not. Tell them to get in touch with Loxley, start stocking their darts. But if you liked what you've seen, please hit the subscribe button. Hit that like button, click that notification bell, but most importantly, keep enjoying your darts, and I'll catch you on the next review.